Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase and today we're reviewing the Balkans weapons mod. So this mod adds in, as you can see in front of me, a buttload of the most epically made weapons you've ever seen and this mod fits perfectly into the new Fellowship mod pack. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it and just to show your support that you like these mods and you want us to keep doing what we're doing. Because, yeah, we enjoy doing it. Let's crack on with the mod. So, pretty much, there are a series of close-up weapons, and then there's a series of, like, firing weapons, like guns and things like that. So, first off, top left, we have ourselves the Diamond Spear. Now, I've got these training dummies here, which you can't... I'll get one of these, and I will show you how you craft it. Uh, it's one leather tunic, any sort of wool, uh, two wheat and a stick, so sort of like a scarecrow, and you just place him down like that. And you can right click to pick them up again. But you can punch them as much as you want and they won't break. Which is very cool. So we get rid of them. And the the diamond spear or any kind of spear. Obviously you can make them like you can swords. You, they've got wood, stone, all the way up through. Uh, the diamond spear doesn't do as much damage as the like a sword. But it does have a lot of range. So I can hit things from all the way back here. And you can throw it. I believe you can pick them up too. Which is very cool. Uh, you can't sort of like charge it back though, like like an arrow. You just gotta so, <laughs> hope up <what> there. <laughs> it's a bit cheerleading going on here. Um, when you place them too close together, they sort of like shoot up in the air, which is why they look like they do. Which is kind of cool, I guess, because their arms would be overlapping and it looks kind of nice. But they, you'll see why I've stacked so many um, when I come to some of the firing weapons. Now we've got the halberd. And this, once again, has the long range of the spear, but this has two attacks. So this is like the slashy one, or you can have, if you right click, you can change it, and it, see, it flips it around, and you get the stabby. And this does, like, more damage, um, but you don't get the knockback effect that this one has. So this, this one has a, a nice big knockback, and this one just has a bit more damage. I love the way it just flips. So cool. Hell yeah. So the diamond battle axe does a lot of damage. Um, it's crafted like so. All the crafting recipes um, I failed to show you so far are all on the website. They're very simple, um, just like most normal weapons. They're not too complicated like you see in some mods. Um, what the hell? <laughs> What's your problem, bitch? Get out of okay, Hang on. What can we use on this guy? Hmm. We're going to go knife. I'm going to knife this fool. Oh, it's a ranged weapon. I can't use that. Warhammer to the face! Oh. <laughs> he went and he came. You son of a... Spectators. Christ, the paparazzi, what are they like? Anyway, so, the battle axe, you can also use it to chop the trees. So, like so. I'm in game mode. That was an epic fail. There we go. So yeah, it's like having a, a dual... Um, multi-purpose tool really but that's all it can do is use it for trees and does a considerable amount of the damage so then the warhammer uh, also does a lot of damage and is crafted like this and if you right click with the warhammer it draws back and blows the crap out of everything it does like a, a sort of explosion thing but it's got a cooldown a bit like the hammer and notch which actually you throw but this one it does have a cooldown I can't see the cooldown um, but I, it feels like it's quite a long time. No! No! What? Oh, it ruined my display. Oh, you son of a gun. See what I did there? Son of a gun. Anyway, next weapon. Oh, you poo-poo head. So we got the a knife, the diamond knife or any sort of knife. And this does, it's crafted like this. And you, it's less uh, durable because it's only one crafting material. Uh, but you can sort of slash slash and stab, but you can also throw it. And it looks incredible when you throw it. And you can pick it up, sort of spins in the air, and comes down. And you can pick it up. It's so well made. This mod is just, there's no bugs in it at all. I love it. I love it. Apart from that, that's a little bit of a bug. <laughs> so next we have the flail, which is a bit of a range sort of weapon. It acts a bit like a fishing rod. Let's try and get that guy get him and once it's on the ground it sort of trails after you like a little pet pet rock um, but you don't have to feed it you wouldn't have to feed a pet rock anyway 
But yeah, that's quite cool. And you craft it like so. A bit like a fishing rod, but you need a diamond on the end or the corresponding crafting that you need. Well, I can't seem to pick it up once it's down, which is a little bit weird. So it just has to follow you. I guess a flail would. It wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to just sling it over your shoulder because it, it would get stuck in your back and you would probably cry. So next we have the javelin. And the javelin has long, long range and you can cock it back like an arrow. And you can pick her up. So yeah, it does a little bit of damage. Uh, it's not too expensive to craft, if I can pick it up. Um, it's two sticks and flint, and that will give you four of them. Yeah, they don't do too much damage, but they are very cool. So next we have the boomerang. This is probably one of my favorite weapons in this mod. Um, you can right click with it, and it will cock back. And you can throw it, it will shoot all the way over there, and it will come back to you. Which is just amazing. The the way it made it, oh, it's beautiful. Let's try and get that cow. Die, you son of a... No, come on. Let's get that one. Mm, sound like a cow myself. There we go, and it comes back. Beautiful, but if you don't hold it down long enough sort of plops, but you can still pick it up if you fail to uh, get it. I wonder if I move, will it come back to me? No. Oh! Oh my, it does! Oh, that's amazing! So it follows you. I just just figured that out. That is incredible. So you can just have it follow... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, well it did, it did once. If you got a cliff, you can make it follow you. So next we have the musket with bayonet, or you can just have the musket. So basically a musket with bayonet is just a musket when you put a knife next to it. So um, the gun stock to make the musket is just two sticks and a wood block. And the musket barrel is three iron ingots and a flint and steel. Obviously because you've got to light your bullets. So we need for this you will need some musket rounds and they require a an iron ingot, gunpowder and some paper. Now... What will these things do? You've got to hold it down, and it will make a little click when it's loaded, because you've got to load it by hand, because these guns weren't, like, automatic. And it shoots. And there's your little ball. Your little round. It's still smoking, because it's, cause it's hot. It's hot, hot. Let's cock it again. Fire this one at his head. There we go. Beautiful. It does quite a bit of damage, and has a nice long range. Let's actually try it on this cow. Here we go. It's not very accurate though. Oh, these old fashioned weapons, I don't imagine they would have been too accurate. Sort of more of a, a big bang. Yeah, I missed a cow from there. So it's not that accurate, but it's pretty cool. It is very, very cool. Um, but at close range, you use your bayonet, your knife. Uh, if, say, a zombie comes to you, and then you can, you can shoot him when he's far away and then stab Stab that bitch when he's closer. So next we have the katana. And the katana is crafted like this. And you write, if you, you just sort of kind of click as fast as you want with this guy. Um, there's not really, I don't think there's a cap on it. And if, if there's a mob or a dummy, um, they'll just go bright red. I mean, they won't take, you know, when you take damage, it goes red. These guys, they don't stop being red. They take so much damage. Um, but they... They don't last too long, unfortunately, because you obviously you do so much uh, damage so quickly. But next we have the crossbow. And the crossbow requires some bolts. And you craft these with a feather and an iron ingot. Um, to make the crossbow, you need a bow and four ingots and two wood blocks. Now, the crossbow has a long range. And it does a lot of damage. Take some, you have to cock it back. You have to load it first, then cock it back. And there you see, I just absolutely destroyed that cow. Let's do it again. Load him up. And cock it back. Got him. One hit. So this is an amazing weapon. I absolutely love it. Uh, it does, it's very, very slow, as you saw, but very cool. Next, we have the blowgun. And this is crafted very easily with three sugar canes. And to make the poisonous darts, which are the uh, ammunition for it, you will need a cactus. Obviously a poisonous cactus, a stick and a feather, and that will give you four. And this is um, requires to be loaded again and to be cocked back. You can hear the breathing. 
That's amazing. It does a lot of damage as well. So crack this one. Let's load him up. <gasps> Boom. And obviously poison him. Leave him at half a heart. And then you can just poke him down with your fists. Which is always good. Um, next we have... We'll go for the blunderbuss next. And the blunderbuss requires blunderbuss shots. And that needs paper, gunpowder and gravel. To make the blunderbuss you need... Uh, a gun stock and a blunderbuss barrel, which is a different barrel. The gun stock is still the same, um, and it requires four iron ingots and a flint and steel in this this format uh, to hold to hold it down to load it again. And this is why I've load set these dummies up like I have. And you right click, and it hits more than one target. It's a bit of a shotgun, really. So let's do it again. Only hit one. The champion is <laughs> the king of the hill. Let's load him up again. Aim for the middle. As you see, I'm hitting more than one target at a time. I think if I stand maybe further back, let's get in game mode and show you it from back here. Maybe I'll hit more from up here. Nope, still only one. <laughs> let's try and get more. Come on. There we go. I hit like two, maybe three that time. So this is good if you're being chased by a horde. A big horde of zombies. Take them down. So next we have the cannon, and this requires cannonballs and gunpowder. So the cannon you put down on the floor, like so, just right click with it. Once you break it, which you have to just punch like a lot to break it, uh, you'll get all the materials back, you won't actually get the cannon back. So if you want to put it down somewhere where you're going to keep it, um, and then you right click on that with the cannonballs, or get into it like a boat, then right click with the cannonball, as you see it's loaded, it's taken one of the cannonballs from me, and then you press shift to fire a big square cannonball which is awesome and does a lot of damage so if we right click again and shift come on there we go destroyed the crap out of that cactus it's quite a slow um, mechanism but say this is on top of your house and you see creepers and things you want to go out and you want to go Whoop. goodbye creeper Good frickin' buy. Uh, to right, right click to just get out of it uh, without having the cannonball in your hand. So next we have a fire rod and this, oh I didn't show the crafting recipe for the cannon. Which is five iron ingots, a flint and steel and any wood block. And the cannonballs are just five stone and gives you four. Awesome. Now the fire rod is a one time use. So if I get in a sheep or something like that, let's go, actually let's get a zombie in. Spawn a zombie, he's on fire. Anyway, it's probably a bad example. <laughs> Let's get a pig. That's all good, it's all good. Pig's in, and it's a one-time use. It is crafted like this. Son of a bitch. It's a one-time use, and it is crafted like this. Uh, it's two sticks and a torch, it's really kind of cheap. And you just right click, or no, you punch the mob, and it will set him on fire. Or her, I'm not sure. I'm not going to stereotype, not all pigs are men. That is a fact that not all pigs are men. Remember it. So next we have the dino... Dino mate! Um, and this is a bit like TNT. It does half the damage of a TNT. And if you throw it, it'll have a little delay and then blow up. Just watch it. Boom, goes the dynamite. Let's put it on the cactus. Miss the cactus. you got to aim a bit higher. Than uh, where you're aiming, I guess. So you can throw throw as many of these as you want at any time. <laughs> so yeah, you could keep back keep back your your foes with that one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod. It is amazing. It is pretty much flawless, apart from the sort of glitchy dummies. But you wouldn't probably wouldn't stack them like this anyway. Um, just get rid of them. So that's how you probably have them on the floor. Uh, but yeah, it is amazing. It is probably the best weapons mod I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of them, and this one's just, it is perfect. So well made, especially things like the knife, how it throws, and it's just, just the way you can just pick it up. It doesn't glitch in blocks, and oh man, oh, it's beautiful. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, the link will be in the description to download it yourself, play it yourself, or you can play it on the new mod pack, The Fellowship. Download that as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.